It's the weekend. Does it matter? No, not really to us, does it? T-Rex, ready to start the day. <laughs> There's another dog down the beach. I just heard barking, so that could be interesting. 69 degrees just went up a tick at 716 on July 27th. The barometer fairly high and inching in an upward direction. And when the barometer is high, generally speaking, the air is nice. Generally speaking. Looks nice enough to us right now, doesn't it? Smoke in the sky again today. It's been kind of waning and waxing. Yesterday the smoke took off and it turned really blue, but then the smoke came back as we have those fires just out of control in California and Oregon and parts of Canada. It's heartbreaking, really. That park fire, uh, Nick is monitoring it, says it's now over 300,000 acres just exploding out of control and arson. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, I want to start to be able to not use the word anyhow. That's kind of how I shift gears. You should just take a breath, enjoy the calm. Uh, thank you, Scott Dunlop, for saying that uh, these videos are calming. And Ryan saying that his dad, Mr. Breton, watches all the time. Much appreciated. Uh, this morning is a good morning to kind of take a breath. I can't smell the smoke here, but I think that some of it is mixing down. That's often what happens with a, a high pressure system. The air can sink and subsidence. And so some of the smoke may be uh, 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 be able to smell it. Smellable. I'm trying to think of the word. What is smellable? Your olfactory nerve may sense the smoke along with your eyes today. If I take a deep breath, actually, I think I can sense a little bit of smoke. No, I did not have a fire in my uh, pit yesterday. High pressure, pretty much in control in the northeastern United States. And yesterday I mentioned perhaps some record low temperatures this morning. Well, let's check the temperature map. Boston only got down to about 68, but the dew point in the 50s, quite nice. And you see some 40s there at the top of the map in northern Maine. Not record cold, though, just pleasant. Uh, just outside of New England, here are some of the records, though, this morning. It was in the 30s in the Gulf of the St. Lawrence in eastern Quebec. Those were records, and there are a few records there around Indiana and Ohio. So this is uh, almost a chilly air mass, but... With the sun out, yesterday we managed to get to past 85 degrees, so it was almost hot working out in the yard. And not that I was in the yard much, I was mostly at Blue Hill, but you know, this week I've been all over the place, and that'll be the case this weekend too. Here's the map this afternoon. The high pressure system that's over us kind of breaks in two a little bit, and so you have uh, one high bubble off to the west, trying to push in a light wind from the west, and another little bubble off to the east, trying to push in a light wind from the east. So light variable and onshore breeze is likely today. Right now, most of the moored boats are pointed towards the west. I think that probably has more to do with an outgoing tide than anything. Just gorgeous, isn't it? There's George's Parker. Love the reflections. Light waves reflecting off of very calm forerunner waves. It does get wavy here, though, because of all the boat traffic we're going to have today. Uh, probably the premier weekend. Oh, there goes Steve right at the end of his line. Premier weekend of summer, weather-wise. Steve, that's it. Right there. That's the end. Just stay. Don't go down there, please. There are critters that live down there, uh, chipmunks and such. And that's why I see often there's going to be a hawk right here. Hawk kind of helping control the critter population. I don't know what the critter's like. Oh, yeah, all the vegetables TK is growing. So fairly quiet weather for now, right? Let's look at the uh, Weather Prediction Center map, though, for tomorrow. Uh, there's a, a weather system southeast of New England that tomorrow evening, the Weather Prediction Center says that's going to stay offshore. However, the Euro says, I'm not so sure about that. We haven't shown the satellite image. Show the satellite image this morning. It has the cloud with the front that went offshore two days ago. Uh, just offshore, and that cloud should stay offshore today. And you have some fog in some of the valleys and otherwise smoke in the air, in especially northern New England. All right, Steve, you're making me nervous. You're making all of us nervous, pacing. Nobody likes a pacer. Look at these uh, pretty flowers, the glories. All right, Steve, come on. This way. Walk in the cat. Steve, come on. Come. Good. Good. 
Yeah, you just stay right there. Here's the euro on that system for tomorrow. It's deepening, 10.12, 10.10, maybe a little bit too deep. 10.08, 10.07, backing in, coming right into Nantucket Sound tomorrow night. The euro has a gale center. It's not that deep, but there's high pressure all around it. Coming into Cape Cod and the islands in eastern Massachusetts tomorrow night. Yesterday, when we watched this, it went into Long Island. I don't show the morning runs, but yesterday's morning run had it going into the Gulf of Maine, and this one's right between the two. And that would result in wind and rain coming into southeastern New England tomorrow afternoon. So, yes, that is a change to the forecast. And it all has to do with that system that I've been talking about for days and days. A big cutoff, 570 thickness. It's very warm cutoff in the upper atmosphere coming in. First, it looked like it was going to be off to our west on Monday. Now it looks like it's going to be right over us tomorrow. And that's going to capture and uh, result in cyclogenesis on the old front that went by two days ago, coming back at us tomorrow into Monday. This will be the second time this month that a front has gone offshore with low pressure forming again on it and coming back at us. The first one was that June 30th front that went out and it came back about two weeks later. This one's coming back about four or five days later. And then that's gonna set the stage for a fairly unsettled week. I think starting Monday, with that system probably easing Monday afternoon. Tuesday looks pretty good, but then if we go to the wider view of the 240 hour forecast, uh, there's gonna be a couple of fronts coming at us from the west and the showers and thunderstorms are gonna redevelop here, if not Tuesday, then Wednesday, and then off and on into Thursday and Friday. And look at this sweeping cold front coming at us from Canada next weekend with some heavy showers and thunderstorms uh, that was not there a couple days ago. It's there again now. And oh, a hurricane off the mid-Atlantic states headed out to sea south of New England on Monday, August 5th. <laughs> that map looks more like what September 5th often looks like with the cold air in eastern Canada and a tropical cyclone going off the east coast. So that's one run. Yesterday, we showed the run where that was going into the Gulf of Mexico. Then the, the daytime run didn't have it at all. And what's the National Hurricane Center have to say about this? 0% uh, chance of development in the next 48 hours. And then only a 20% chance of development in the next 72 hours as that heads towards the Bahamas. So we'll be watching, that's for sure. Meantime, I just want to kind of, I got to get in that line to get over the Sagamore Bridge. Got a lot of work to do on Cape Cod today changeover day. Last night, kids partying on the beach. I heard a bottle break and then I kind of lost my temper a little bit. I said, you know, you can be there, but no breaking bottles, please. Please don't break bottles on rocks at the beach, please, please. And yesterday was the final day of the 2024 Launch Your Weather Career Week at the Blue Hill Observatory. Eight great young future meteorologists and we practiced in front of the camera yesterday the first time anyone ever does this is really hard and nerve-wracking and at your age i could not have done it either but they did we just keep the camera rolling each one of them did a two minute forecast and leaving with a, a an analysis map of the day they were born their actual birth day weather on the map so I think that'll oh, be your a, parents uh, are love this, a keepsake for them. And uh, Jerry got his tractor back yesterday. I said, don't mow the chicory. It's really pretty. <laughs> well, this is your yard. He can mow anything he wants. So the chicory got mowed, and then we were down here for just another gorgeous sunset. I mean, the smoke is atrocious, but it does add texture to the sunset, and Steve adds texture to everything. So we'll leave you with the end more from yesterday. Have a nice Saturday. Gorgeous day. Where's the moon? moon's way up there. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. So I do not have my noise canceling microphone on now. This is all ambient sound with the iPhone. <laughs> He's so happy to get his mower back, his tractor. Anybody want a lawn boy that hasn't run in 12 years? Come and get it. Why he's going down the middle of the road? I do not know. But I kind of like the back nine over here. I think this is called chicory. Are you gonna take out all your chicory, Jerry? It's really pretty. I vote save the chicory, save the chicory.
Save the lily. Save the chicory. Don't hurt the chicory. That's the ambient. Uh, you can hear the song sparrow and the breeze. Now I don't have the lavalier on. It's beautiful. The sky reflected off the water. Perfectly blue. Nice breeze. You get a a Steve cat and a T-Rex dog just enjoying the sun. The smoke mostly cleared out of our sky now. So new blue sky, gorgeous. And planes are taking off toward the west and the northwest. I like that. And they're landing toward the west. <laughs> Means they don't come over my house. A few instability cumulus. Could we ask for a better Friday? Off to the blue hill, chasing the moon, just going down. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Krista. Thank really you. awesome. Um, all right, so we are going to walk down. Everybody listen. The wind correctly. If it was way up here, the wind would go across this side of the kite, same speed it goes across this side of the kite, and it would flutter to the ground like that. If it was way down here, the wind would go across this side of the kite, the same speed it goes across this side of the kite, it says go up, no, go down, go up, no, go down, and it would just drag along like that. Because of this angle, the wind goes over this side of the kite at a faster rate of speed than it goes across this side of the kite. And that creates a force that starts with L. Lift. Exactly, the force of lift. So that's the wing that makes it fly. So, next step for you is to insert your spars. We have four holes in the kite, lower right, upper right. All right, it's too nice to have class indoors, right? Where are you going, Matt? I want to see. Fly away. Oh. I want to see your map. That's it. I thought you. With were that, what's that map? Surface analysis of what on day? Birthday. On the day you were born. That is a great map. I love it. It's a work of art. Look at that high pressure system and low pressure system. Got wind. What is wind? Air moving from high pressure to low pressure. And you were born on a very windy day across the continent of North America. Now we're just looking out the window. And there's some more smoke in the sky now. Yay, I love smoke. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. So what are all those things Perfect. flying around? I call them irreticulates. Uh, let's jump over the wall. Not this wall, we'll walk out the gate actually. Lots of things floating around. What are they? Oh, it's these things right here. How old's that rock you guys are on? Cole, you have by naturalist also? On my phone, yeah. Yeah, so what did you discover about this? It's a creeping thistle. Creeping thistle, that makes sense. And there's the bee on the thistle. And thistle gets prickly too. I just got prickled, that's why my camera jumped. And we can't focus on it because it's too windy. How do you spell wind? W-I-N-D. How do you spell wind? W-I-N-D. What is, what is wind? Wind is air winding from high to low pressure. Yeah, way to speak to the ground. Thank you. I love the ground. Oh, you guys didn't get to fly your kites off the roof. What's going on up there? Yeah, exactly. I, think, I think it was fun up here. Yeah, yeah imagine if it gets caught in those uh, anemometers. So, the other half of the class is up there. They've made their kites and they're flying their kites off the roof. Paper kite class. Good day for it. Even though it's technically cooler air, it's actually warmer today than yesterday. How can that be? If we got a colder air mass that has come in, why is it warmer today? It's drier. It is drier, it's yeah, less humid. Mixing? Better mixing? Oh, that's mixing down of the atmosphere, but what about the sky? It's clear, <laughs> oh, it's sun. so the sun's, the sun's down out. The, the sun makes a little bit of difference in the temperature, doesn't it? But yeah. you're right, uh, sinking air actually uh, compresses and causes yeah, heating. Yeah, see, that's what's going to happen, because they're all right next yeah, to each other. You tell them. It's <laughs> quite a tangled web we weave, isn't it? Because yeah, we, were, we were all like 50 feet away from each other. Yeah, we got to like walk around. We didn't that get tangled at all. They, they got tangled. Right. And here we are, Friday afternoon. We're supposed to be making videos of ourselves doing the weather. But we'd we're rather be outdoors. Time, yeah. I know, exactly. You have... Another 10 years before you have to make your TV audition. <laughs> Who wants to try doing one though right now? All right, so what is that? What are you guys holding? 
What does it matter? Surface, 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 surface analysis of, our birthdays. of the day you were born. Oh, your parents are going to love this, I think. <laughs> Maybe even more than you. Okay. Uh, I was, I am <laughs> future, future meteorologist Matt Lowe, and that was my forecast. Matt, considering that you were heckled the entire time no, by a live studio was, audience. It was you! It was you. <laughs> what? It was your job to change the slides, you just did Well, I guess this is drawing to an end, our week together, and what I've seen oh, is man. incredible no. growth, and friendships, and new love of weather people that love the weather, and we're all now part of the same club, and uh, you are on my team, and I am on your team. Uh, through your education, through your careers, Don, and the kites. You'll never forget the kites on the roof this <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> that was something else. Thank you, Don, for uh, Thank you, Don. organizing this whole yeah, week. Thank you, Don. Yep. Thank you. And, uh, thank you, Don. your parents uh, for being so patient. And... 4.30. That's a wrap for my part of the week. Some of them are going home. Some are coming back tomorrow for one more day. Very rewarding. Very fun. The air sinking out over the ocean and rising over the land. For the love of clouds and everything. Everything fascinates me, yes. And the smoke that had left the sky seems to be building back in a little bit. Sam, can we be in your vlog? You're in there every day this week. Why, why stop now? What's up that? What's that up in the sky right there? Cumulus. Cumulus and what else? The sun, it's always partial credit for the sun. Looks a little hazy, but it's very dry air, so it's probably not haze. Smoke. Smoke. From Canada. Well, it actually is originating in California oh, and so Oregon, going up oh. into Canada, around an upper level low, and who said it? Being spit out over the Northeast. That was, uh, <laughs> Someone oh. said that. Six hours later, he's still out there. I'm astounded. Took out all the chicory. Oh well. Still a couple more hours of daylight. I don't know. Come across the street now, maybe. Unstoppable. You're a machine. Friday nights at the shipyard. Music in the grass happening. But I'm going to bed early tonight, so skipping this. I wonder where Doug is tonight. Probably working on a boat or weed whacking or something. Smokey. sleep do we get tonight?